Our next speaker is Amos Beymel. Good afternoon. I'll be speaking about uh, privately learning of half paces, and we'll do it be, via finding, privately finding a center point of a set of points. This is a joint work with Shai Moran, Kobi Nisim, and uh, Uri Stemmer, and I'm Amos. So what is private learning? So first of all, why do we want to learn private, uh, privately? So a lot of time we apply learning tasks for private data, medical data, financial data, and so on, and we want to, that the hypothesis that we return won't disclose information about the information uh, that was used to uh, produce it. So what is private learning? So we have a database, which is a collection of uh, samples, labeled samples, and we have a learning algorithm that returns an hypothesis uh, H, and we want to learn it privately. So what do I mean by uh, private learning? So private learning is simply the usual packed learning requirement and the differential privacy uh, guarantees. So what is the differential privacy? So it was defined by uh, Dwork, Mercheri, Nisim, and Smith in 2006, and differentially uh, private privacy says that uh, changing one record in the database don't change, doesn't change the output distribution of the algorithm by too much. So we have a, in, in our case, we have a, a database, a, a list of uh, records of uh, label samples, and we think about each sample as the information of an individual, and we have an algorithm, and it outputs a hypothesis, and uh, the algorithm has to be uh, randomized to satisfy differential privacy. And uh, we want to that if we change the information of one individual, in this case of the third, third individual, the output distribution of the hypothesis won't change by too much. And by too much, we have the following uh, equation. So the probability that the algorithm uh, will turn an hypothesis from uh, some set of hypotheses on the left uh, database is approximately the same as uh, at the probability that it will turn, return the same hypothesis in the same set with the right uh, database. And the approximately the same is uh, dependent by two pa parameters, epsilon and delta, where e to the epsilon is the multiplicative uh, factor, and delta is the additive uh, factor, which should be negligible. And the uh, algorithm that satisfies this equation is e epsilon delta private, and if uh, delta is zero, it's epsilon private. So this is differential privacy, and we want to privately learn half spaces. I think in this uh, community, uh, explaining why uh, half spaces are interesting is not necessary. So we want to learn, privately learn half spaces. So we have, in this case, we, uh, input is a set of d-dimensional points taken from some finite uh, set x to the d, so uh, x is the finite, and I'll explain in my next slide why we need this requirement. And the goal is to privately find a half space that uh, separates most of the points. So uh, we want to privately do that, meaning that if one, the location of one point changes, still the output distribution of the hypothesis will be similar. And uh, we do it for a finite sample, as usual, uh, for pack learning, if you do it for a finite sample and the sample is big enough, this implies private pack learning over the entire distribution. So this is a task, what was known before. So without privacy, we know that uh, tet of the uh, examples are necessary and sufficient for learning half spaces. With epsilon differential privacy, meaning with delta is zero, uh, the sample complexity has to be tet of d squared log of the size of the set x, the fixed height uh, set x. So this is with uh, epsilon differential privacy. For epsilon delta, there were only results for d equals one. And in this case, uh, there was the upper bound, two to the power of O of a uh, log star of the size of uh, the, uh, the set x. So we have dependency on the side of this, uh, the fixed set, but it's a very mild uh, dependency. And there, was, uh, there is a lower bound of omega of log star of the size of uh, the fixed set x. So this in particular implies that uh, 
some dependency on the size of the set X is required, meaning that we cannot do, uh, learn privately uh, points even in the one-dimensional uh, case when we don't have the requirement that the points are taken from some uh, fixed set X, a subset of the su uh, some fixed set X. So this was the previous result. What is our result? So we show an epsilon delta private algorithm for learning R spaces where the sample complexity is polynomial in the dimension and uh, exponential in log star of X. So in particular, the sample complexity is d to the power of 4.5 times the 2 to the O of log star of X. And this uh, was uh, for private learning, but previous results, the same with the sam uh, sample complexity even hold for private uh, agnostic learning. In particular, for d equals 1, the sample complexity, uh, for constant d, a sample complexity is 2 to the order of uh, log star of x, which is uh, the same as we knew for, pre for d equals 1. So this is for constant d, and the way we do it is we supply a reduction to privately finding a point in the convex hull. So what is privately finding a point in the convex hull? So again, we have a fixed set of points, a, a set point in, uh, taken from uh, some, uh, in, uh, which is a subset of a set x to the d for finite set x, and the, uh, the task is to privately find a point in the convex convex hull of these points, so this is a convex hull, so we can return any point in the convex hull, and uh, we want it to be private, meaning that if one point moves, which means that the convex hull uh, changes, we still have to uh, return uh, the same distribution of points, or similar distribution of points. So this is the task of finding a point in the convex hull. Uh, what our results are, we show how to privately find a point in the convex hull with the sample complexity, which is a polynomial in D and in a two to the power of O of log star of X. And if we actually find the point, an approximate center point of the set of points, and uh, we use an algorithm, a previous algorithm of ours, uh, work on cave. And I'm mentioning that because this is a very nice algorithm that we believe that has many uh, application and it wasn't used so far, so we uh, learned that this exists and uh, it can be used. Uh, so we showed an upper bound on the sample complexity. We also proved a lower bound on the sample complexity of this task, uh, meaning that the uh, uh, sample complexity has to be at least D. And uh, to summarize the stock, we showed how to uh, find a point in the convex hull. And we show a reduction for private learning of half spaces to finding a point in the convex hull with sample complexity uh, polynomial in D and 2 to the power of log star of x. So this uh, is our results, and this uh, ends our my talk. <laughs> Questions? Our, okay, let me just set up the talk first. Okay, uh, our next speaker is Kwang Song Jung. 